Hey there, guys. So the space moves so fast. Um, it was just a couple weeks ago we were talking about the release of Joy Caption Alpha 1, and now they have already come out with Alpha 2, which, uh, as you, if you guys have paid any attention, I love this app. It's one of my absolute favorite apps. It's one of my editor favorites over on the uh, Patreon page, and um, it just keeps getting better. So they have added quite a bit here of uh, different caption types now, so you can actually really be focusing on the style of words as well as all these buttons that we can be pressing to get the exact prompts that we're wanting um, you know lighting sources um, uh, angles this kind of stuff we can actually be excluding certain information maybe making sure what we're getting uh, we're getting exactly what we want and uh, this is just so absolutely great so we're just going to go through this really briefly and uh, show you some of the new features. Alpha 1 is still fantastic. And in fact, a lot of this stuff really just comes down to the uh, particular tool that you need. But Joy Captain Alpha 2 just is outstanding again. So let's get into that. But first, please go ahead and like the channel, share the video, tell the relatives about it. That pretty girl at uh, work, you know, just... Uh, Pull it up, get brave, go up there and just ask her. Say, hey, have you heard about Get Going Fast? And, uh, well, <laughs> I don't know, man. I just appreciate, I just appreciate your support. So uh, we're going to move on with this video and get on to the good stuff here. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, as uh, we mentioned before, the... The Joy Caption Alpha 2 actually adds a bunch of new features in here. So I've added a photo here. All you got to do is click and you can add a photo. So you just click there and then you'll go find whatever you want to add. Okay. Um, and it'll see it upload there. Oh, well, I turned it off there. That's why it's doing that. But uh, I turned off the server. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, what we want to look at down here is you're going to see that. Uh, They've added a whole bunch of new boxes, okay? So uh, you're going to see different things that you can add. If there's a person character in the image, you must refer to them as a name. So you're just going to actually name them like the man, the woman, that sort of thing. Do not include information about people's characters that cannot be changed, like ethnicity, gender, whatever, but do still include changeable attributes like hairstyle. So, you know, a lot of times we're working on stuff online, and it's like um, you need descriptions that don't mention things like uh, the skin color or... Uh, you know, culture or stuff like that. So you can actually exclude it, include information about lighting. This is extremely helpful, especially when you're recreating stuff because you um, really need to, you, know, you could get an image that's totally, uh, that's similar in face and style, but completely different um, in, in location or, or, you know, in lighting. Okay. So you could really be forcing this stuff. You got camera angles, um, can check whether there's a watermark that's actually really powerful they're putting watermarks and stuff so you can actually check maybe you have to make sure that your image has a watermark so you can actually use this to be putting that in there so you can read through all of this um look at do not include anything sexual keep it pg so if you really gotta be careful man just check that make sure that it ain't gonna mention it you know maybe you got a gal in a bathing suit and you don't want to talk about cleavage or you know, something like that, or perk. <laughs> so just click the button, right? But if you do want that, unclick the button, you know. You don't have to click that. So um, I like this. This is really cool because, again, you can really look at, include information on the images, compositional styles such as leading lines, rules of third, or symmetry. I mean, this is incredibly powerful because you're the way that AI works is that you use words to describe what you want, it goes up there and it finds these parallels, it finds the comparisons to, to what you've done, and to have the correct words is the most powerful tool that you can have in working with AI, and this is giving that all to you. So now, I'm going to sh show you a few other things here. We've got different caption types now, so you can actually get it written as a social media post. So look at I had this one written as a social media post. Uh, rocking the vibrant colors of a rainbow. This dude's outfit is straight out of psychedelic dreams. And blah, 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 blah. Notice he uses hashtags. Okay. Uh, even put emojis in there. So, <laughs> you know, you can really get um, 
what you want. Now, what I would normally do if I needed something like this is I would just get the basic description. Then I would go over to ChatGPT and I'd be like, uh, write this for a social media post. Make it exciting so that people will blah, 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 blah. And then it would give me that. Well, here you've got it doing it for you on the spot. Yo, okay. Very cool. Okay, so you've got all these different caption types that you can go on. Look, it's got mid journey. So if you're going to be recreating it in mid journey, it knows the exact types of prompts that are needed to get you what you want. As well, we still have our training prompts. So if you're throwing in um, images to be used in training Alora, say for Flux or something like that, uh, you're going to be able to get the correct tags that you need. Okay. Um, down here we've got look you can put the person's character name this was up here where it says refer to them as name so i could put jim in here and then it would refer to me as jim jim's rocking a uh you know an awesome psychedelic uh, shirt and blur 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 okay very cool okay and then you've got your custom prompts now one of the nice things you're going to see is it's actually going to see the prompt that it used up here so this one was an easy one write a medium length caption for this image as if we're being used for social media posts okay the more you click on these, the more it's going to add to that. You could take it, copy it, throw that bad boy down into here, and then um, make it all the more that you want. Now, the one thing this is missing still is the batch files. Alpha, uh, the, the original Joy Caption has the ability to do batch files, which is powerful. Okay, I'm not certain why they're not adding that to this yet. Um, then I would just make it over the top. So you still might want to go back to the original Joy Caption if you've got um, a large folder. You got a hundred of these that you just need to rock through and get written out to a file. If you're working one on one, this is really good for people that are working um, single images. You're selling clothes online. You're selling. Um, you're selling paintings. You're selling your images whatever you know you're 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 an influencer and you're doing yourself this is probably about the most powerful um one of the most powerful tools that you could be using you're doing your laura and your flexes you got 100 you might want to go back to the original okay but uh i mean whatever you're using this oh, it's Trey magnifique it's such a great app i want to uh rock back over here really quick now i got rid of that image there because like i mentioned i wasn't on the uh, the server when I clicked it, but it doesn't matter. I want to show you. I clicked a bunch of ones down here. I include lighting, include camera angle. Mentioned the likely use of artificial natural lighting sources. Um, and so you notice the prompt is quite a lot one, uh, longer. So write a descriptive caption for this image in a formal tone within 260 words. Include information about lighting. Include information about camera angle. You must include information about the subjective aesthetic quality. Boy, say that five times real fast. The subjective aesthetic quality of the image from low to very high. If applicable, mention the likely use of artificial or natural lighting sources. Do not use any ambiguous language. Include whether the image is um, safe for work, suggestive or not safe for work. So again, this is all because I clicked it down here. Let's see what it gave. So it's a screenshot from a virtual try-in website, which it was, okay? So it noticed that I had a whole bunch of stuff uh, put together into a montage thing from the app, and it caught that. It's a screenshot from a virtual try-in website featuring a detailed collage of fashion items. That's great. The primary focus is on a model wearing a colorful pastel strip sleeveless mini dress made of a knit material. This is really good. To the left of the model, there are several smaller images of the dress from different angles. Layout's clean and organized. The overall aesthetic quality of the image is very high with professional photography and a polished modern design. Seems to be a virtual try and platform allowing you to see how different outfits look on a virtual avatar. That's incredible that it knows that. Okay, I mean, this this really good. Okay, so one of the things I use this for is with my videos because I want to, uh, you know, describe something in there and I'll throw it in there and get that exact in there. So, anyway, that's how you got it. This, um... It, uh, there is no straight installation for this, so what I have is over on the Patreon site here, where we go to, you can actually, let's move this out of the way here, um, you can actually find it here under uh, member user things under Joy Caption, so if you actually go to the page and then you click on Collections, you'll see under Member Exclusive Software, you'll be able to find it there. Okay, and this is for members. You can get it. 
you download it. It's so very easy. Uh, let's show you here how easy this is. If I can get the window to pop up correctly. Where did that go? Hold on. Okay, and you're going to see it's really easy. All we did was you, uh, you're over here on this page. You just click this to download it. Takes you to your, uh, you download it, open it up, you get this exe file. All you gotta do is extract it, and it pops out these files here. Okay, then all you gotta do is click install. That's all you gotta do. Okay, you click that bad boy. This thing comes up. And I'm having. There you go, and it just starts rolling through the installation. Easy. Okay. So, uh, and then and then when you're done, you just click run. Takes a little while to download the stuff, but you're going within 10 minutes, okay? So, anyway, that's it. Joy Caption Alpha 2. Such a great application. You guys really do want to play with this one. Get hold of it. Like I said, there's still the Joy Caption Alpha 1, which is available if you like the details in that one. And you've got the original Joy Caption, which is powerful, um, which not as expanded of stuff it's a little bit more safe for work it's a little bit more confined in other words but it's still awesome okay this one that we're working on here we call the expanded prompt edition so this is the way to go if you really want to get going and get going fast so you guys hang in there as always it's good to hang out with you and uh you know stay good be excellent to each other yo